First off, let's circle back to our previous video. If you missed it, hit the card popping up on the screen and check it out. In it, I mentioned that I'd break down the 3D models in a separate video, and that's exactly what I'm diving into now. Just to recap, to spice up these investment portfolio battles, we cooked up this whole universe, and within it lies Ven City. Thinking about how players interact with this world, we thought it'd be cool if they could get up close and personal with the companies. Since this game's built to run on any browser, we're dealing with some serious limitations to create pleasing 3D models. We've got tons of models on the screen and can't go overboard with polygons without tanking our game's performance. So we fired up Blender and naturally started crafting some low poly models. Our goal? Craft a model for each company on the stock exchange, plus a bunch of other props to bring the scene to life. Sure, creating low poly models is a long haul, but totally doable. And hey, we're aiming for a more cartoonish vibe in this city, so we're working with cartoon shaders and outlines to nail that eye-catching look. So, with these models in our city, why not slap them onto the cards? That's exactly what we decided to do, and we'll do it for all the cards. Companies without a specific logo or reference will get more generic building models. And about those cards, remember that design we showed off in the last video, now flashing on your screen? Yeah, that card is just a simple PNG whipped up in Photoshop, but let's be real, rendering a 3D model, sending it to Photoshop, and then exporting it back into our game is a hassle. So we brainstormed the best way to streamline this without burning time. The move? Split each element of that card into individual SVGs. Enter our pals who'd rather build a new YouTube than edit a video on it, the programmers. With their rainbow array of code, they managed to reassemble each element we crafted, achieving the same visual vibe. But hold up, the goal isn't just a visual makeover, we're aiming to streamline our process. By compiling all that code and data from every card, we can automate the card creation process. Translation, artists won't be tweaking those icons and elements in Photoshop one by one. It's all automated, thanks to our programming wizards. Of course, the heart of Capital Clash is online matches, player versus player, duels with top-notch decks and strategies. But with such a stunning 3D city and a whole lore about Ven City crafted by inspired artists, why not roll out a mini-campaign featuring these elements? We're not thinking traditional campaign mode, but rather scattering elements throughout Ven City for players to explore at their own pace between matches. Players unlock new tools and achievements organically, blending seamlessly into the overall game experience. So how's it gonna work? In Capital Clash's world, every player is a volunteer entering the city for economic simulations, aka playing matches, generating data to rescue the global economy. The aim? Rack up as many multiplayer matches as possible. Winning in multiplayer nabs players new cards and resources to buff up their decks. During downtime, they can also bump into key city characters, avatars of the researchers behind this massive simulation. Some offer card upgrades, new city features, or even challenge players with potent decks, revealing more of the story and inching players closer to the truth. It's not typical for card game players to get an RPG light exploration mode, but hey, we're all about pushing boundaries. What do you think? What would you love to stumble upon in Ven City during your downtime? We're also plotting to let players form guilds, snag a building in Ven City, unlock exclusive perks for members, compete in guild tourneys, and more. Drop your thoughts in the comments. And that's a wrap for today. Don't forget, the beat is just around the corner. Follow our journey. We catch you later.